Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this error that is you don't have access. So whenever you launch any EA game from Steam or from Epic Games Launcher, if you're receiving this error, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to restart EA app. So go to EA app and then click on these three horizontal lines and then click on exit and then restart EA app and then launch the game. Next step is to launch the game from Steam or Epic. Do not launch the game from EA app. Launch the game if you have the game on Steam, launch it from Steam. If you have the game on Epic Games Launcher, launch it from Epic Games Launcher. Now, so before you launch the game from Steam or Epic, just make sure that you close the EA app. Close the EA app and then go to Steam, launch the game from here, or you can go to Epic Games Launcher and launch the game from here. Now, the next step is to perform EA app recovery in EA app. So go to EA app, open EA app, and on the top, click on this three horizontal line, then click on app help, and then click on app recovery, and then click on clear cache, and then it will restart the EA app, and then you can launch the game. You can also perform E app recovery using the go to the installation folder. So type in EA app in Windows search box and then make a right click and then click on open file location and then make a right click on app recovery and then click on run as administrator. Click on yes to allow and then again click on clear cache and it will restart the E app and then launch the game. Now, the next step is to verify or repair the game files in Steam, Epic, or EA. So, if you have the game on Steam, go to Steam, make a right click on the game. This is just an example. Uh, you have to make a right click on the EA title, which is giving you the error message. So, I'm doing it with Apex Legion. So, whichever game is giving you the error message, you make a right click on that game, then select properties, and then go to installed files, and then click on verify integrity of game files. After the verification, launch the game. Similarly, you can do the same thing in EA app. So go to library and then click on this three dot and then click on repair. And after the repair, try to launch the game. Similarly, if you have the game on Epic, click on this three dot over here. If you see the properties option, prop, go to properties and then verify. If you see the option, if you don't see the option, you can skip this step. Next is to launch the game from the game installation folder. So wherever the game is installed, go to the game installation folder. For example, for Steam, make a right click on the game, select manage, then click on browse local files. It will straight away take you to the game installation folder and then select the game exe file and then make a right click and then click on run as administrator. Try launching the game from the game installation folder. So make a double click over here and try launching the game. Similarly, if you have the game uh, on Epic Games Launcher, you can go to the game installation folder. So wherever the game is installed, go to the game installation folder and then launch the game. Next step is to allow the, allow Steam, Epic and Game.exe file to your antivirus program. So for this, if you have any third party antivirus, make sure that allow the Game.exe file to your antivirus program also allows Steam and Epic. So for this, you can uh, Open Windows settings. If, if you're using third party antivirus, then allow the exe file in third party antivirus. If you're using Windows security, then you can go to privacy and security. In Windows 10, you will have an option update and security. In Windows 10, click on update and security. In Windows 11, click on privacy and security. Then click on Windows security. Now click on virus and threat protection. And then scroll down and at the end, click on manage ransomware protection. Now click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. And then go to the wherever the Steam is installed. Open the Steam folder, Steam apps. Over here you can see this Steam folder. Steam, click on open, add it. Again, similarly, go to the game installation folder. If the game is installed in C drive, open C drive. Program file 686, Steam folder, Steam apps folder, common folder, open the EA game folder and then select the game exe file and click on open. 
add the game exe file. If you have the game uh, on Epic, allow the game ex uh, allow the Epic exe file in the Windows Security. Now the next step is to download free EA game on a, on a Steam or Epic, and then you can you don't have to finish the installation. You simply start the download and then launch the game, which is giving you the error message. For example, uh, if you if you're trying to launch FIFA or any other game or maybe the Sims 4 game, if you're trying to launch the game and you're receiving the error message, in that case you can install any other EA games. And then once you install it, you can click on download and you can pause the download and then launch the other game, other EA game and then check. This has worked for many players, so it might work for you. So download any free EA game on Steam or Epic. You don't have to finish the install. Pause the install and then launch the game, which is giving you the error message. Next step is to download and install the free game. So download and install the free game and then launch the game. And then once you launch it, once the game launches, close it and then launch the game, which is giving you the error message. Now the next step is to unlink Steam account or Epic account from EA account and then just create a new EA account. So, but before you unlink it, let me inform you, once you unlink a Steam or Epic account from EA account and link it to a new EA account that you own, you can't unlink it again for six months. So make sure unlinking is the best choice for you and that you understand the risk before you follow these steps. So copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to EA website. And then if you see the login, you log in to the EA account. Then go to connections. Now over here you can see Steam, you can see Epic Games. So if you're playing the game on Epic Games, you can unlink it from here. But I, as I told you, you cannot, if you, have un, if you unlink it and then if you link a new EA account, if you unlink your Steam or Epic account and then link it to new EA account, then you cannot unlink it for six months. So you have to unlink. Now after you unlink, Steam or Epic, whichever, you log out. And then once you log out, you can create a new EA account. Once you log out, you can create a new EA account. You can create a new EA account. Now once you create a new EA account, then you can, once you create a new EA account, open a EA game on Steam or Epic. So now you can try to open the EA game from Steam or Epic and then log into EA app. It will be asking you to log into EA app. So log in with new EA account and the game should work. This has worked for many players, so it might work for you. You can try this. Now, the next step is to go to the game installation folder and delete the activation 64 DLL file and then perform repair through EA app. So you can go to the game installation folder. This is just an example. I'm showing you with different game. Uh, so, for example, The Sims 4. So, in my game, go to the game installation folder. So, wherever the game is installed, you can go to the game installation folder and then this is just an example I'm showing for Sims 4 and then open the game folder and you have to find this activation and open the core folder. You, you have to find this activation 64 DLL. Make a right click and then click on delete. Now once you delete it, now go to EA app and then click on repair. You have to repair the game file once you delete it. Then you can try to launch the game. Now still you are facing the problem in that case. You have to delete the activation DLL folder, activation 64 DLL files once again. Now, once you delete it, this time try to verify the game file in Steam or Epic. So, first of all, you have to delete the activation uh, file, the DLL file from the game installation folder. Then you have to repair the game from EA app. If that does not work, you have to delete the activation uh, file once again and then verify the game in Steam. So. You can make a right click on the game after you delete it, make a right click and then 
select properties and then go to the install file and verify integrity of game files. This is just an example I'm showing with Apex. If you don't find this activation 64 DLL file in that game folder, whichever game is giving you the error message, if you don't find this, then you can skip this step. Next step is to rename origin game file to EA games. Now, before installing the game from EA app, we used to install it from origin game, origin from the origin app. So you might see origin, open C drive, open program files, or program files x86. And instead of EA games, you might see origin games. So if you see origin games, you can make a right click and then you can rename it to EA games. So you have to rename origin games to EA games. So if you find origin games in program files or program files x86, rename it to EA games and then launch the game. This has also worked for many players, so it might work for you. So if that does not work, in that case, you can rename it back to origin games. Now, the next step is to make changes in the registry. Now, before you make changes in the registry, create a backup first. So type in and making changes in the registry is not recommended, but still, if you want to try it, you have to try it at your own risk. So it's better that you create a backup for the registry. So type in registry editor in Windows search box and then click on regist registry editor. Click on yes to allow. Now you can create a backup. So to create a backup, you can go to file and then click on export. You can select the location as desktop. Name this file as backup and then for export range select all and then click on save and for save as type select all files and then export range now click on save. This may take a couple of seconds or maybe a minute. Now, once the backup is created, you can check the backup in the desktop over here. In future, if something wrong happens, you can always restore the registry. For this, you can go to file and then you can click on import and then you can select desktop and you can select the backup file and then click on open. You can restore the registry. Now, you have to, now once you open registry editor, once you create a backup, now expand H key local machine. Expand H key local machine and then expand the software folder. Now, over here, you can find origin games or EA games and you can find the games in the list. So whichever game is giving you the error message, I have dead space on the uh, EA games. I have FIFA 23, Madden NFL 23 and EA Sports. I have, um, so I have these games. So whichever game is giving the error message, you select that game. So. For example, I'll select Dead Space 23. Now over here, you can see install directory. This is just an example. You may see different games, whichever game is giving you the error message. You just click on that game. So in each game, you will find install directory. Now over here, you can see this is the path. E drive Dead Space 2023. Now go to the game installation folder and check where, where is the game installed. So wherever the game is installed, you can go to the game installation folder. Uh, for me, let me check. So whichever, wherever the game is installed, you can select that location. So over here, if the game is installed in D drive, you can select D drive. So you have to copy the correct path. 
to this is just an example i don't have f122 over here but i'm just giving an example you have to paste the correct path over here and then click on okay so i'm not doing it because this is different game and the path is different so make a double click on install directory and go to this installation folder so open file explorer and find this game in file explorer and then copy the path and paste it over here and then click on ok and then restart your computer and after the system restart you can try to launch the game from steam or epic games launcher so expand software find ea games select the game on the right hand side find install directory right click and then click on modify and paste the correct path of the game start the game in steam or epic and then check next step is to run this command in command prompt so copy this command this command is provided in the video description type in cmd in windows search box and make a right click on command prompt app and then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow and then paste this command hit the enter key so now restart you can be ready and after the system restart launch the game and then you might get administrator access error in the beginning but later on the game should run you can try this this has also worked for many players so it might work for you now the next step is to uninstall and reinstall latest version of ea app so you can uninstall ea app so type in ea app and then click on uninstall now after the uninstall you can go to ea website and then you can install the ea app once again you can download the ea app and then reinstall ea app and after the reinstallation launch the game next step is to uninstall the ea game then reinstall the game in the same drive where steam or epic is installed so you have to uninstall and reinstall the game where in the same drive where steam and epic is installed now the last step is to reset your computer now before you perform reset let me inform you reset will result in loss of all the data and application on your computer so you can create a backup first and then go for reset for reset you can open windows settings and then go to windows update go to advanced option and then go to recovery and then you can click on reset pc here you can see keep my files it will remove apps and settings but it will keep your personal files remove everything will remove all your personal files apps and settings so you can select the option which you want and then you can go for local reinstall and once the windows is reinstalled you have to set up a computer and after you set up the computer you have to reinstall ea app steam all the application and then log in and then reinstall the game and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix this error you should not receive this error anymore so that will be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel